They say that children are angels sent to us from heaven. Their hearts are so pure and they're so selfless that they can teach us a lesson or two on how to be better people. And their simple, innocent deeds and affectionate words can melt even a heart made of stone. But unfortunately, it sometimes happens that these angels leave us too soon. And that's what our story today will be about. A woman named Ruth Scully didn't know how difficult it would be to look at the bath mat. Many of you might think, what could be so special about a mat? But for Ruth, this mat represents her love for her son. That's because Nolan's goalie was terrified to stay away from his mother, even for a moment, because he was battling soft tissue sarcoma. So whenever his mother was taking a shower, he would lay on this very mat waiting for her. It all started with a regular nasal congestion, which few people may pay attention to. At first, the boy just had the sniffles, but then it turned out to be a symptom of a terrible diagnosis. One night, the boy got ill and his parents took him to the hospital, where he was soon put on antibiotics and prescribed a saline spray. But it didn't help. And a little later, Nolan's adenoids were swollen up, after which he got a surgery to have his tonsils removed. It would seem that this was the end. He shouldn't have had any more problems. But when the doctors tested the boy's adenoid tissue, the results were devastating. It turned out that Nolan had rhabdomyosarcoma, soft tissue cancer, and he needed to start treatment right away. Months of radiation therapy, chemo, and painful procedures seemed to work in Nolan's favor as it began to slowly recover and his parents saw a ray of hope. They even created a Facebook page for him to document his journey and inspire other children like himself. Every post, every photo of him, tangled in tubes and surrounded by medical equipment had one thing in common. Nolan's warm smile, his eyes full of faith and hope and his incredible will. However, it didn't last long. At the next examination, the oncologist discovered that the cancer didn't get better. It actually reached the point of no return. That's when the doctors insisted that the parents needed to tell their little angel about his condition. When Ruth asked Nolan if he was in pain, he replied that he actually was in pain, but he'd continue fighting for her. Hearing her son's words, the mother's heart broke in a million little pieces, and she murmured softly, Honey, I can't take your pain anymore. The only way for you to get better is in heaven. Nolan's answer made her heart burst into tears. All right, Mommy, I'll go to heaven and play there until you and Daddy join me, the boy answered calmly, accepting the news of his imminent death. All those who knew Nolan, who knew his story, prayed for the boy, but it was of no use. February 4th, 2017 was the day when little Nolan was ready to leave this world and go to heaven. I don't think I need to say that not a single parent could ever prepare for anything like this. It must be unimaginably difficult and painful to let go of your only child. The hospital staff made arrangements to stop the chemo. The parents were getting ready to take their child home. They wanted to spend their last days together, but suddenly Nolan took his mother by the hand and quietly said, Mommy, it's fine, let's stay here. I'm not afraid. For the next few hours, Ruth didn't leave Nolan's side, and when she stepped away for a brief moment, having asked her son if she could take a shower and if he'd last a few minutes without her, he nodded back at her. However, when the woman got out of the shower, she was told that the boy's oxygen level dropped sharply and he fell into a coma. Ruth couldn't believe that Nolan left without saying goodbye, so she lay down next to her son. She stayed there for several minutes, after which a little miracle happened. The devices started showing brain activity again and the boy woke up. As it turned out, he woke up just so he could say his last four words. He smiled, opened his eyes and said, I love you, mommy, and then he closed his eyes forever. Those were the last words of a strong little boy who fought for his life with dignity, a little angel with a big heart. He'll always be remembered not only by his parents, but also by those who witnessed his journey. Ruth later wrote on Facebook, I'm one of those people who are afraid to take a shower. Now the mat on which my son was waiting for me will always be empty. It's impossible to put into words what a mother goes through when she loses her child, but his smile and his last words will forever remain in my memory and will warm my heart until we meet again in heaven. Friends, take care of yourself and your love, loved ones. See you soon.